You made me cry when you said goodbye. That is shame. My tears fell like rain. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I play Fats Domino's classic song, Ain't That A Shame. It's a simple three chord song. We're going to play it in the key of A. So those chords are A, D, and E. Fats used to play the song in the key of B. So if you put your capo on the second fret, you can change the key of A to the key of B. Do that if you want to play along with Fats' original record. This is another song that you can find in my rock and roll songbook. 50 from the 50s. Play 50 rock and roll songs with four easy open chords. It's available on Amazon and on Lulu.com. Just search for Jess Quail Rock and Roll and you should find it. I know a lot of you have bought it already, so if you have, get it out and open it up at page 5 is the first song in the songbook. So what strumming pattern do I use in this one? Well let's have a look at the chorus first. Ain't that a shame I play this bouncy shuffle with my back. So first of all I'll say a few words about shuffle rhythms. What makes a shuffle rhythm a shuffle rhythm, as distinct from a straight rhythm? Well, if I was to play this song with a straight rhythm, it would sound like this. With straight rhythms, the beats and the ands in between the beats are all evenly spaced. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. With a shuffle rhythm, the ands in between the beats are moved forward in time a little bit, closer to the following beat. So it's like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and it's got a bounce to it, a shuffle. So that's how a shuffle rhythm works. How am I strumming it? Well, I'm strumming down on every beat and up on the ands in between the beats. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. I'm also hitting the strings a little bit harder on beats two and four, the back beat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And on beats one and three, I'm strumming mostly on the bass strings, the fatter strings, like this. You get a kind of boom, a ching, a boom, a ching, a boom, a ching. So that's the strumming pattern that I use in the choruses. The verses are interesting, they're just lots of stops. You sing a line, then you strum a bit, you sing a line, you strum a bit, you sing a line, you strum a bit, and then you do a walk-up run, like this. You made me cry when you said goodbye, ain't that it? Okay, and then you're into the chorus. So what is that rhythm that you're strumming there? It goes like this. How do those strums fit into a bar? Well, it's like this. We do it really slowly. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. So I'm strumming up on the and before beat two and down on beat three. Here it is really slowly. 
One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. One, two, and, three, and, four, and I'm also uh, cutting the strings dead after that strum on beat three. Sometimes I put my hand on the strings like that. Sometimes I drop my little finger down onto the strings like this. The choice is yours, whichever's easiest for you. Oh, you made me cry when you said goodbye. So how do we play that walk-up run? It's really easy. You play the open fifth string, that's an A, then put your first finger on the second fret of the fifth string, that's a B, and then put your third finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string, that's a C sharp. I play it with all down strokes of my pick. So now you have the strumming patterns you need and that lick there's one more little uh, lick to show you. It's one that I play at the very end of the song. I'll play the final chorus so you can see how it fits in. Ain't that a shame? My tears fell like rain. Ain't that a shame? You're the one to blame. So I go. the open fifth string, put my third finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string, then play the open fourth string, put my first finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and then there are two strums of the A chord. One I stop dead, and one I let ring. Here it is again. Okay, so now have a go at playing the whole song along with me. There are one, two, three, four, five verses in the song, and each verse is followed by a chorus. Uh, the fourth and fifth verses are actually repeats of verses earlier in the song. There is a solo after the third chorus, but we're going to leave that out. So when you've played that uh, third chorus at the bottom of page five, jump straight to the top of page six to the next verse. Don't worry if you haven't got the songbook yet, the lyrics are going to appear in the corner of the screen there. I'm going to give you a count in like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You made... Like that, okay? If you're ready, here's the count in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You made me cry when you said goodbye. OK, 
Okay, well, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you found that useful. See you next time.